Hello guys, uh, good afternoon. I'm Architect Oliver once again and I prepared another set of questions for uh, building construction, episode 2. Uh, in this uh, video, I prepared uh, definition of terms sa building construction. Okay, so I hope na makatulong to sa pag-review nyo. So let's start. Number 46. A tool for receiving and holding the head of a rivet while the other end is being headed. Again, a tool for receiving and holding the head of a rivet while the other end is being headed. A. Drift B. Bonnet C. Aligning punch D. Dolly Answer D. Dolly 47. A joint between two parts of a building or structure permitting thermal or moisture expansion to occur without damage to either part. Again, a joint between two parts of building or structure permitting thermal or moisture expansion to occur without damage to either part. A. Control joint B. Contraction joint C. Control joint C. Rather D. Expansion joint Answer D. Expansion joint 49. Metamorph metamorph metamorphic rock is a class of rock that has undergone a change in structure, texture, or composition due to natural agencies as heat and pressure, especially when the rock becomes harder and more crystalline. The following rocks are classified as igneous rock, except A. Marble B. Obsidian C. Serpentine D. Granite Answer A. Marble 50. In order to cut into tight gaps, what sewing tool is recommended to be used in cutting curves and holes in floors and roof for pipes which has a small knife shaped blade that moves up and down? Again, in order to cut into tight gaps, what sewing tool is recommended to be used in cutting curves or holes in floors and roofs for pipes which has a small knife bl shaped blade that moves up and down? A. Saber saw B. Table saw C. Radial arm saw D. Portable circular saw Answer A. Saber saw 54. A type of glass that contain a pattern texture impressed usually on one surface by a patterned roller. Again, a type of glass that contains a pattern texture impressed usually on one surface by a patterned roller. A. Vitreous colored plate B. Cathedral and figured glass C. Wired glass D. Rough cast glass Answer B. Cathedral and figured glass 55. For finishing accessories, what is the term for hand grip installed in a shower which may be used in steadying or supporting oneself? Again, for finishing accessories, what is the term for hand grip installed in a shower which may be used in steadying or supporting oneself? A. Steady bar B. 
grab bar C support bar D brace bar answer B grab bar number one the natural grade level of site is an even which is contrary to both landscape and building design intent. What type of excavator shall be used by the contractor to grade and level the ground? Again, the situation is the natural grade level at of site is uneven, which is contrary to both landscape and building design intent. What type of excavator shall be used by the contractor to grade and level the ground? A backhoe B scraper C compactor or roller D grader answer D grader number two the soil investigation report demonstrate that the existing soil is an unstable and has an inadequate soil bearing capacity which type of foundation is suitable for the pur for the proposed building structure again the soil investigation report demonstrate that the existing soil is unstable and has an inadequate soil bearing capacity which type of foundation is suitable for the proposed building structure a deep foundation C. Rather B. Shallow foundation. C. Steel grillage foundation. D. None of the above. Answer. A. Deep foundation. Number seven. This type of joint is used for building wooden framework where great strength and rigidity are all important it is made by cutting a hole or mortise in one piece and a tenon or tongue in the second piece to fit the hole in the other the tenon may extend fully through the other piece or only part of the way a butt or square joint b oblique joint c Mortis and tenon joint. D. Plane or lap joint. Answer. C. Mortis and tenon joint. Number 8. This occur when the unsupported height is not greater than 10 times the shortest lateral dimension of the cross section. Again, this occur when the unsupported height is not greater than 10 times the shortest lateral dimension of the cross section. A. Short columns B. Tied columns C. Long columns D. Lateral columns Answer B. Short columns. Number 9. A watertight enclosure constructed underwater or in water bearing soil and pump dry to allow access for construction or repairs. Again, a watertight enclosure constructed underwater or in water bearing soil and pump dry to allow access for construction or repair. A. Cased pile B. Cover dam C. Kaison D. Mandrel Answer B. Cover dam Number 12. The contractor has provided precast planks driven side by side to retain soil and prevent water from seeping into the pit during the deep excavation of earth 
for basement. What type of shoring is used? Again, the contractor has provided precast planks driven side by side to retain soil and prevent water from seeping into the pit during the deep excavation of earth for basement. What type of shoring is used? A. Lagging B. Sheet pile D. Soldier pile D. Planking Answer B. Sheet pile Number 13 are fabricated steel pipes provided with flat steel plates which hold a girder or girt and is filled with grout and or concrete to prevent corrosion. Again, fabricated steel pipes provided with flat steel plates which hold the girder or girt and is filled with grout or concrete to prevent cor corrosion. A. Combined columns B. Composite columns C. Lally columns D. None of the above Answer C. Lally columns 14. A system of supports that enable an existing foundation to be rebuilt, strengthened, or deepened, especially the additional support required when a new excavation is adjoining property in deep is deeper that than the existing foundation. Again, a system of support that enables an existing foundation to be rebuilt, strengthened, or deepened, especially the additional support required when a new excavation is adjoin is adjoining property is deeper than the existing foundation. A. Shoring B. Underpining C. Pit method D. Piling Answer B. Underpining. 15. The ground elevation at any specific point on construction site, especially the ground meets the foundation of a building. Again, the ground elevation at any specific point on construction site, especially the ground meets the foundation of a building. A. Ground level. B. Fill C. Level D. Grade Answer D. Grade 49. Horizontal timbers lay on concrete slab and to which flooring is nailed. Again, horizontal timbers lay on concrete slab and to which flooring is nailed a strut b sleepers c joist d button answer b sleepers 29 Consistency or plasticity of concrete mix is measured with A. Slump test B. Slump mix C. Slump analysis D. Slump cone Answer A. Slump test 31. The material used to slow down the hydration of cement, especially during extreme hot weather. Again, the material used to slow down the hydration of cement, especially during extreme hot weather. 
A. Admixture B. Drying powder C. Accelerator D. Retarder Answer D. Retarder Thirteen, a mixture of sand and cement deposited under high pneumatic pressure with a cement gun is A. Pour it B. Unite C. Aerocrit D. Perlite Answer B. Unite. 16. Threaded metal pins or rods with one end having the head and with the external thread on the other end that accept a matting nut, a metal block with a central threaded hole to receive a bolt or other threaded materials, and is used for holding together or secure different members or material after being inserted through holes A. Bolts B. Screw C. Rivets D. Tech screw Answer A. Bolts 17. This refers to all finished lumber, which is further cut and processed in a lumber mill. A. Kiln dried lumber B. Dressed lumber C. Millwork D. S4S lumber Answer C. Millwork 18. A type of floor that provides an elevated graded structural system above a solid concrete slab to create a hidden void for the passage of mechanical and electrical system. Again, a type of floor that provides an elevated graded structural system above a solid concrete slab to create a hidden void for the passage of mechanical and electrical system. A. Substructural floor B. Basement floor C. Raised floor D. Utilities floor Answer C. Raised floor 22. When concrete aggregate is forced below the surface, level with food screed and given a flat finish is called Again, when concrete aggregate is forced below the surface, leveled with wood screed and given a flat finish is called A. Wood float finish B. Wood floor finish C. Tooled finish D. Wood scratch finish Answer A. Wood float finish 23. Okay guys, uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, watching this uh, video from beginning until the end if you have some doubt on the definition you can uh, pm me or you can uh, uh, write the comments below and uh, we will answer it and uh, once again i hope na makapasa kayo sa board exam na ibibigay ng prc thank you guys and uh, i hope to see you in my next video thank you